Hey, you gotta hit them with it like this. Like, like, oh, hit them. Welcome back to another season of tournament fishing. Now we are called the Major League Fishing Invitationals. Coming to you in Florida, Clewiston, Florida, for the first event of the year, February 8th through 10th. Some of the nation's top professionals will compete for a top prize of $32. <laughs> oh, rats. It should be a good day. Seriously, the first tournament of the year. Um, as usual, you know, we're ready to get the season started, ready to get this thing on and popping. Give you a little rundown. If you watch the practice video, you'll know that uh, we're faced with a little bit unfavorable conditions this year. Have there ever been a tournament where we didn't say that? Where it's not favorable conditions, but it'll be a little, uh, it'll be a little uncharacteristic of Okeechobee, most likely, is what I'm predicting. But I'm gonna catch me some fish. That's all I got to say about that. I'm kind of excited about it. I'm gonna catch some fish. I do think this is one of those tournaments where, if you can uh, mentally stay in the game, you can really do good in this tournament because of what we got. A lot of dirty water, a lot of wind, a lot of water, which is not exactly what you want for Okeechobee. A lake is like, I think everybody keeps throwing out the number 16. So I think it's like three foot higher than it normally is, which is a ton of water in a place like this. But, uh, you know, I can't pull them all the water out. So all I can do is go out there and try to move. You've seen the fish I catch. Y'all seen the fish I catch. Big one. It's a big one. Oh god, that's a real big one. Okay. Solid attack today, baby. A little solid attack. So slick con. First slick day we had. Since the deal got started. Look, he's a fat one. I like a little pre-spawn fish. I'm glad we got some weather where I can fish like this. Having to like get away from the traffic a little bit. There's a lot of fish in the area, but there's also a lot of boats. The reason there's a lot of boats because there's not that much fishable water. If you watched the practice video, I talked about how we we're all gonna pile up because there's just not that many places to fish right now. 
And so now you got to, instead of getting on the big group of fish over there, you got to find a onesie twosie right outside of the main area. I want to go over there. I got the most bites where you see the most boats at, but you just can't, like people are just fishing all over top of them. And so now I'm just going to have to get out here and just pick one, two, one, two outside of the main area. Five and they're still alive, but they are very small. Pretty sure somebody already fished this, so we're going behind people and catching fish, which is definitely desirable. Right. We're gonna ease just across the boat here. I'm not really going anywhere, but just easing right across. Actually, it's not that bad. Actually, compared to what I've been catching, it is good. Compared to what your boy's been catching, that is a... Uh, I might have wasted about two hours in my day trying to find something outside of the juice when I really should have stayed on the juice and, and fished unorthodox. Unorthodox, does everybody know what unorthodox means? Unorthodox means I probably should try to fish not like how everybody else is fishing within the area of juice. I guess I taught myself something just then. Woo! Woo! Don't put the camera on that. Don't put the camera on that. That hurts my manhood. That hurts my manhood. Oh, he said, let me come over here and crappy fish. Yo, you see, he says, oh, you thought you was about to catch some fish right there? <laughs> my man grabbing the reeds and everything. He said, let me let me run my big engine in that. <laughs> Easily could have got my point across without saying that. That's what they pay me to do. <laughs> I'm not gonna charge you for that. You got free tickets, okay? You don't get to see five pounders like this caught every day. Hey, why are you laughing? Why are you laughing, my guy? Why are you? you don't know what a five pounder looks like? Ah, oh, come on. You don't think he was five? Come on, my guy. I told my man I got a five pound. He laughed at me. He said, ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, he eat nothing. <laughs> no, get away. Don't no, film this. <laughs> get away from me. Y'all filming all the wrong stuff. Y'all trying to embarrass me. I got one. That's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. That's a good one. That's a catfish. I don't think that's a bass. I felt it roll. It's a bass. It's a giant. It's a freaking giant. 
This is a freaking giant. It's freaking. Oh, God. That's not good. That's not good. If it jumps that's on the other side good. of the boat, that's not good. That is not that's good. That's not good. I don't know where he's at. I have no idea where the fish is at, bro. Chad, I think we have some tomfoolery afoot here. <laughs> I think he's already in the motor. Uh-oh. Dude, I have no idea where the fish is at. Dude, I think he's in the motor. He's in the motor. Dude, I think I might have lost it. Dude, I lost it. It's in the motor. I lost it. I lost it. I lost it. No, I, don't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't lose it. I'm quite entertained, JT. Yeah, I don't know very about much. You. Very much so. Quite discombobulated there for a minute. Oh. It's a freaking giant. It's the first time we've seen a net out today. Wow. Yep. Nice. Oh, baby! Huh? Did you see that? Did you see that? Oh. Hey, I'm not sure. Legit could be a personal best. Dude, that thing got caught in the motor. It legit got caught in the motor. <laughs> On a spinning rod. A spinning rod, baby. Let me get you in the live wheel. I ain't about to play with you. Get to flopping around. I almost lost that fish already. Oh, I need a break. I thought I lost that fish. Oh. Hell yeah. I can't celebrate like I really want. Mm. <laughs> How about a phoenix? She come up shaking with her mama gave her though. You see her, she go, oh. it was old Roland Martin jump. Like one of them you see at the front of one of them old school TV shows. Okay, we definitely gonna be retying after that. Bro, what a cluster. <laughs> Did you see that joint? That joint got tied in the motor. It got tied in the motor. I'm like trying to get it out from under the line. I'm like, oh well, that'll be the one you talk about at weigh in. And then the line just all of a sudden goes Woof. And now I'm worried. I'm like, dude, he's going to get wrapped in one of these little reed islands. Oh, Chris Jones on my boat for that one. I need a wow. Give me two wows for that, good buddy. I'm trying to go on stage front and center the way he was fighting. I tried my best not to holler. I was ready to holler when it was in the net. I tried. I tried. I said, screw this. You only live once. <laughs> <laughs> You only live once. I tried my best. I was like, bro, you got boats everywhere. You can't be out here acting an idiot, acting like a belting guy. <laughs> and then I was like, I'm going to holler. I'm going to holler. I'm going to holler. <sighs> I guess I got to get out a little bit more.
happy things. It's not always That's just true. happy things. That's really? big. Bigger. Watch out, Ken. Watch out, Ken. I don't know who's got who here. Going to the spinning rod might be working out for Latimer. Get a little finesse in a heavily pressured area. Makes sense to me. Quite an entanglement here, JT. It is. <gasps> good one. Not quite as big as that last one, but it's a good one. That was frightening. Plus. Mm, that's a different type of grunt right there, my guy. That's a different type of grunt right there. That's two of them old hamburgers right there, buddy. What you think about them? I'll I call, I'll make big calls. I'll make them kind of clothes that make your toes curl. Let's go, baby. I'm not trying to make no little calls. I make the biggest calls in the lake. Oh, so you big. Okay. 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 Get out of my boat. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, one for the studio, one for the show. <laughs> <laughs> We're all Girl, in. Did you see him? Yes. Come up? Waka shaka waka waka shaka waka. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, we catch one more. Jeez. I knew now. I knew that was a big one when I set the hook. I knew when I set the hook on. I sat down on it. It said, "The rod, old be like rod." Said, Crick. <laughs> I knew that was a good. Oh, everybody see the spinning rod. They're like, "What's he doing down there in Florida?" The light line. Well, slow down, Jerry. Slow down, Jerry. It ain't really that light. So that's the one of the one of the good things is what why you use braid to fluorocarbon leader. A lot of people like on the fence. I don't know if I should use braid to fluorocarbon. Why should I use that? Well, I'm actually using 17 pound test line. You would never be able to put that on a spinning rod. 17 pound test fluorocarbon, it would just come off the spool. But the beauty of having braid to fluorocarbon, I can use a 15 pound test braid, which is super manageable on a spinning reel. And then I can use a 17 pound fluorocarbon leader and I can do stuff that I wouldn't normally be able to do. You couldn't put this worm on a bait caster full of 17 pound test fluorocarbon. You wouldn't be able to cast it, it's too light. So to be able to present it, you gotta put it on the spinning rod. So I'll use a 15 pound test braided line, 17 pound test fluorocarbon leader, and then I throw at these little isolated patches and I set the hook. When one goes doop, 
He goes, dupe? I go, dupe? I'm not going to do much different for the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm going to stay another hour or so. Uh, I, you know, I'm just trying to see what's the extremity of the area where I can get bit, for sure. You know, like, I'll see how far this way or that way I can go and get bit. I'm going to be throwing the same baits. Uh, I'm not going to do anything fancy, try to be a hero. I learned that the hard way when you get in these situations, especially on Okeechobee, really that's fishing in general. Fishing can get slow for an hour or two and you can have the, you'll, you'll want to kind of do something fancy, be a hero. You want to have that story of how you how you did something different and, and you made the day. Uh, I'm the kind of guy that, like once I, once I got confidence in the area, I don't really change much. Uh, I won't change the baits. I'll just see the extremity of where I can go. But uh, I'm not going to try to be real super fancy. Not at all. You're doing a heck of a job so far, man. Hey. Got him. Big one, bro. Big one. No, not that big. Not that big, but I need it. It's pretty big, though. Yeah. That helps the cause a lot. That helps a lot. Maybe it doesn't. Hearing the guys do a lot of extra counting today. You ever weighed in six? Uh, I think I did one time. Yeah, I did one time. Just you know how it is. Just it, got come. It can happen. Yep. I come within a cast of doing that. Having six in a box, I had my thumb on the spool getting ready to release, and something told me start counting. Mm -hmm. It can happen in a second. Now yeah. the rule is, which I, I applaud it, if they have six, they can I think it's called the smallest, but it's a two-pound penalty. Used to be you'd lose your biggest fish mm. of the day. That seems pretty severe. You never it forgot is. it. Yeah. That's why you hear these guys. Either way, you don't want to give up two pounds. Nor do you want to lose your biggest fish for the day. Yeah.
freaking giant, bro. to the boat ramp boys that's it for today boss i am done i am done today that's all i get did you see that thing take off and i set the hook look at the old spear point old spear point this is a new hook i've been using this year for well, since last year started using it last year that fish would have easily come off had i had a big old gap wide hook but i got him stuck baby Woo! yes that's three big ones in the tank today, boy. We cooking with gas for show. Look at it. Well, can you see all of him though, bro? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, God. Bro, that's a big old big one. Holy smokes. Bro, I set the hook on that fish and it took off. I was like, man, maybe that ain't a, that might not be a freaking bass either. Woo! We just call. I don't know, I don't know which one it is. Two big ones over there. Okay, okay, locked them up. Then I got a big one over here and two solids. And then get out of here. Get out of here with the bull crap, buddy. Oh, we gotta get rid of that one. Oh my God. We're going to the boat house. That's all I got for him today. Well, one, two. One, two, three. Five makes a limit. Five bass limit for the South Carolina Pro. New leader. <laughs>
Uh, the biggest thing is, man, I've been coming down here since 2008, and I got a lot of triple-digit finishes here. And gotcha. Best day I ever had fishing here, biggest bag I ever had fishing in a competition, that very rarely happens. So and I, I think some of them might even get on live. So that, I'm go. not going to charge any extra. Okay. All Everybody right. gets that for free. But it was a good day. Great day of fishing, Congratulations, man. sir. Thank Appreciate you. you. Great job. Yes, Glad sir. to have you, man. Appreciate you. Come on up here. Steve Lopez. Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Five fish. Oh, oh. Steve Lopez. 14-3, man. 14-3. Yeah, I should have waited. All right. Yeah? Nice job today. 23-14. I thought I had like 22. That is maybe the biggest bag I had in tour competition. I weighed a 23-something when I won. 23-14. And we left them biting, homie. It's gonna be a good week. I know it's gonna be a good week. It's gonna be a good, I get to do the stuff I like to do. Let's go to Tiki Bar. Here you go, Tiki Bar. Let's go. Get some fresh diamond. No, Joe Simon's like diamonds. <laughs> hey, Flint, I, I was I was clowning on you just a little bit, even though you caught they behinds today. I was clowning on you a little bit. It's still gonna take twenty to get a check at it. Yeah, yeah. It probably will. Watch, it ain't over. It ain't over. Hey, how how you be how you be bumping that hardcore trap and then jump out of the truck talking like that? License plate shaking. Why are you hating, Brian? He he jumped out. He said, "Don't take twenty, ain't it? <laughs> you can't do that. Hey, you can't do that. You can play that on the dirt road. Then when you get here, then you got to change that to some dog on it. Morgan. Yeah, he got no you, had a, you had an event with a propeller today. Yeah, it was bad, man. Were you on live when it happened? Yeah, it was. My dad said he watched it and it was crazy. It was bad. Of course, I'll, he didn't tell me what happened because he wasn't allowed. Yeah, he got, he got the fish got him a prop. The line got him a prop. He was, I mean, he was 25 yards out, and then the line got caught in my prop. I got it off the prop. I got the line short. Like, I, I thought I done lost the fish. So I'm just trying to get the line out of my prop. And then my rod, like, goes jerking down in the water. I proceeded to boat a seven of oil. Man. Were you wacky rigging them? Uh, a couple of them. I'm gonna catch them on a drop shot tomorrow. He's gonna pull uh, a out the finesse guy. A couple of them I did catch on the wacky. The one that got stuck in the prop was on the wacky. No, that was that was that was, that was, a, yeah, that was a little shot. A little shot of drop. Really? Yeah. You're probably the only one throwing one. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> I got everything on a chatter bait. Really? My biggest one was on Chatterbait. She was about two pounds. <laughs> like, like, like because of the uh, the wind helped that or something? Yeah. Or? Oh yeah. I was thinking about it. it was